Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. So in this short video, what I'm going to show you how to do is make a piece of freezer paper that you can put into your printer and print onto. Now, what I've got here is a piece of ordinary freezer paper underneath my regular computer sized piece of paper, eight and a half by 11. And the paper I'm using underneath is Reynolds Kitchen freezer paper right here. You can buy it anywhere. Okay. And what I found is it's a great way to transfer an image onto a rock or another hard surface using an inkjet print. Um, so all I did was rip a sheet of the freezer paper and uh, put it underneath my paper here and I'm just going to trace the outline of the computer paper on top. Doesn't matter which side you trace onto, but it does matter what side you print onto. So as you can see, I'm going to take my scissor now and I'm just going to cut it out. It doesn't have to be exact, it just has to be very approximate. The reason freezer paper works so well for transferring an inkjet Im image is because the ink doesn't stick to the freezer paper. It will stick to the surface that you're transferring it onto if you use the right um, supplies, which I will outline also and let you know about below or in the description. Um, what I use is Mod Podge Matte Gel Medium. Okay, so here we have it. We have this is my freezer paper. I can tell this is freezer paper because the other side is shiny. You can't see that from where you're looking at, but it's obvious that this is the shiny side and this is the matte side of the freezer paper. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a piece of my computer paper and I'm going to attach the freezer paper to it using my double-sided scotch tape right here. It's sticking on both sides, so I'm just going to take a little piece and put it on each corner. Of my computer paper. And then I'm going to take my freezer paper and I want to put the shiny side down. So this is the shiny side and I want to place it down because I want to print onto the matte side. That's the side that's going to have the ink printed onto. Okay, I know it might sound a little confusing. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'm just going to secure this by pressing down and getting a nice um, attachment there. So now I have like a two, um, it's like a two layered piece of paper here. Now what I do, and you don't have to do this part, but you can if you want extra security in keeping the pieces of paper together when you put them in your printer to print, is I just put a piece of scotch tape at the top and I fold it over. And there you have it. Now, until you get used to this method, you might want to just write on the piece of paper which side needs to face up or which side you're printing onto. 
I did that for a while. But anyway, so when I put this in the rear tray of my printer, I'm going to put, for my printer, I'm going to put this face up, the matte side of the freezer paper, because that's what side receives the ink when I print from the rear tray. Um, you'll have to check your printer. It might be different on your printer. Maybe it prints face down. I don't know. But um, you will have to use an inkjet printer. You cannot use a laser print on this because you don't want a toner based image. Um, a toner based image would not work as far as I know. Um, I could be wrong about that, but for this method we're going to use an inkjet. An inkjet printer is much less expensive. Um, colored laser, laser printers are very expensive and the ink is very expensive so it's actually a good thing that we're using an inkjet for this because most people have inkjets. If you have any questions let me know and thank you for joining me and good luck. Take care. Please like and subscribe.